Is the G.I. Joe Hammerhead. Wait a second, this is not the G.I. Joe Hammerhead. Jimmy, you're fired! This is the G.I. Joe Hammerhead. Wait a second, this is not the Hammerhead. What the heck? It's not even funny anymore. This is the G.I. Joe Hammerhead. Finally. This is the Cobra Hammerhead. It was released in... 1990 and it was discontinued in 1991. The Cobra Hammerhead is the length of five vintage G.I. Joe figures. If you want to know and you're curious, this is what the box looks like. Since I do not have the decimator, I will be showing you an image of him online on Yo Joe. This is what the decimator looks like. And this is the file card information that came with the hammerhead and decimator. I will hover over this so you can pause it and read it. I am not going to read it. Easily broken or lost pieces on the hammerhead are the hammerhead's front guns are often missing and the antenna is prone to loss or breakage, as you can see. My antenna is bent, it's a little bent, but still on there. The Hammerhead had uh, two variations. There's one in dark gray and one in light gray. Um, there's s neither seem to be harder to find than the other, so basically they're both about the same. All right, we're gonna take a look at the. Hammerhead's loadout. Okay, so you should get one command pod, two jet skis, three spring loaded rockets, 15 missiles, two front frontal guns, one antenna slash radar piece, three spring loaded launchers, four big missiles, and two submarines. First things first, let's take a look at the sub little submarine pods. As we can see, small, uh, you you have a place for two missiles here, and on the other side, another two missiles. You'd also put a spring-loaded launcher on there. And there's a canopy, you can put a figure in there. This is what it looks like when you put all the weapons on and the figure in the canopy. As you can see. Now, the main question is, can a modern figure fit in here? Well, let's see. Sadly, a modern figure can't fit into the cockpit of the small little submarine. As you can see, the little submarine... Uh, hooks on to the side of the hammerhead like that. Now, the other one, it's pretty much the same thing. It hooks on to the other side. Next is the two machine guns that click on to the front. So it look like it's hollow underneath. This is where the two machine guns go, and as you can see, I have a trooper in there. Now I'm going to try to put a modern figure in here and see if it fits. Surprisingly, the modern fi figure fits in there pretty well. These are the four missiles, big missiles, that go into the hammerhead. So let's see, let's take a closer look. They look standard, like a standard missile, nothing really special about it, so yeah. Okay, this is where the four missiles go. Uh, they kind of hook in there. As you can see, I don't have them hooked in there because it's a little hard to do. So, yeah. Next is the jet skis. As you can see, it's 
pretty hollow. There's a place where you can uh, put your figure here. If you look under, there's two places for a missile. As you can see, the two jet skis snap on each side. You have to kind of push them in a little, but it's not that tricky. This is the smaller submarine. I like to think that this submarine kind of uh, is the command station of the Hammerhead. As you can see in the cockpit is highly, highly detailed. And the two missiles go here, and the canopy goes there, and the antenna that easily breaks goes there. As you can see, this antenna breaks so easily, I'm having a section for it in my video. So what is common is down here, it's broken or whatever, luckily mine's is not, and the antenna can be bent. Mine is. It's kind of hard to find a mint, nice, beautiful one. If you are curious, a modern figure can fit into the cockpit. This is what a vintage figure looks like, or early 2000s figure. Um, as you can see, there's two missiles, the antenna here is a place where it connects to the hammerhead. I will show that. Now, earlier we looked at these four missiles. Well, the command submarine, as you can see, if you look down here, little tabs. So what you do is, you get this, and you kind of have to fit it in there. It's a little tricky to do. Once you line it up, you got pushed down on it, and boom, there. Also, here's another fun feature. You can lift that up if you want the missiles to come up, or the submarine to detach. I honestly don't know. Okay, to put the missile in the missile launcher, all you have to do is push the missile down until you hear the click. As you can see, I'm about to test this on Shipwreck. Let's see what it does. As you can see, the missile had enough force to push Shipwreck down. To put the missile launcher on, all you have to do is get it and push down right there. Alright, now let's dive into the hammerhead. Get it, dive into the hammerhead. Anyway, so we can see... Of course, the front of the body looks like a hammerhead. And, okay, now let's look into the seats. That's what it looks like. Okay, into the missile bay. That's what it looks like. And there is even a decompression tank. Um, none of this can, none of these can open, but to work that, it's this little black tab. You can slide it and inside it. Put a figure in there. Now, let's see if a figure can fit in there. As you can see, I have shipwreck. Yeah, it can fit. So you can use that as a pressure area, or you can just use it as a troop bay, whatever floats your boat. Or your <laughs> shark. Anyway. And if you still don't think it's a, sh a shark, look, there's shark teeth on there. Anyway. Going down, we can see that uh, the axles for the wheels, it looks, I would be careful with this because you'll know if it'll snap or break or whatever. I could see that happening. Same for down there. Pretty much nice and hollow. Alright, you may be curious how far can this missile, sh missile shoot. Alright, now, huh, pretty far. Okay, this is what looks like fully assembled. As you can see, the hammerhead is kind of made up of a bunch of smaller vehicles, if we really think about it. Now, in the G.I. Joe community, the hammerhead has an enemy. The bug, built under Globulus, Globulus's guidance. Now, people say the bug is better, and people say the hammerhead's better. Which one do I think is better? I think the hammerhead's b better. 
Alright, I got the hammerhead loaded up with figures, and we're going to see if it can if it can take on water and go underwater. My thinking is it's going to be a disaster. You know. Okay. As you can see, I have water filling up in here. I got the hammerhead. Oh, yeah. As you can, as you can see, we just put it in water. Um, it's currently floating. So, yeah. I'll let you know if there's any update. Okay, I have this bagged up. Let's see how this Okay, this is the hammerhead underwater. I know you really couldn't tell what the last video looked like, but I was going around the hammerhead underwater. I had like five bags on my phone just to make sure it didn't get any water in it and stuff. Um, so the problem is this seems to be coming off in the water. Uh, so yeah, let's see if the spring missile uh, shoots, uh, still shoots underwater. Got that. Oh yeah, still shoots, that's cool. Uh, got this. So yeah, very interesting. Uh, it'll be cool to check and see uh, what uh, the figures are doing in there. So yeah. Okay, as you can see, I've just taken it out. Let's see. Yeah, looks like there was water in there. Um, yeah. Looks like there was water and stuff. Ooh, you want know, some... Okay, so I'm looking in here, it looks like there was water, so it cannot really go underwater, but it's still fun, and we saw the spring load, but missile still shoots under there. So, I mean, yeah, you could use it underwater, but I wouldn't use it on uh, figures I don't want to get wet. Alright, I think it's going to be it for this uh, video, make sure you like and subscribe. And, uh, maybe post a comment if you like the bug or the hammerhead. Um, yeah, this took a lot of work. Uh, yeah, so see you soon. All right, all right. So, what do I think about the hammerhead? I think it's one of Cobra's best vehicles. Because it's an amphibious vehicle, it's a large vehicle, it looks cool, and I just like it. I mean... Like, what's not to like about a, a toy with missiles and, you know, Cobra logos and, uh, that looks like a hammerhead. I mean, like, what what's not to like? Now, the bug, you see that bug over there, big, ugly, green glob, or built under Globulus' guidance, I'm not, it's okay, I mean, you know, it's not the best, but it's alright. But I love the hammerhead.